This video is about、uh, review for solving a sin x plus or minus b cos x equals c equation. Make sure a is a、uh, positive. So first step, you have to change into this format. Look at the a. We got the positive six sin x, so we need to switch the Order for six sin x and a three cos x. We got the six sin x plus three cos x equal to negative five. Then find the square root of a square plus b square. We know that a equals six and b equals three. Therefore. A square plus B square that will be three square plus six square. That is a forty-five. For this forty-five, you don't have to simplify, because calculator will do that for you. Then we divide by square root of forty-five. Then we set up this、uh, number beside sine x equals to cosine theta. Therefore, theta will be inverse cosine of six、uh, over square root of forty-five. We put into calculator, you will get that is the.、Uh, Zero point four six four. Then you need to change this part into sine x plus or minus theta using sum and a difference identity. So we got sine x plus. Because here is plus, plus zero point four six four equals negative five square root of forty five. Now we need to solve for this equation now. Since it's a single sign equals constant, we go to reference angle. That's inverse sine of five over square root of forty-five. You will get zero point eight four one. Then we draw the diagram. Sine is a negative, so we go to third and a fourth quadrant. For third quadrant, we know that it's pi plus zero point. Eight four one, for fourth quadrant that's a、uh, two pi minus zero point eight four one. So we put into calculator. We got three point nine eight three, and、uh, for two pi minus zero point eight four one, we got five point four four two. Then you need to check the angle. This angle equals to this two. Therefore, you need to set up x plus zero point four six four equals three point nine eight three. And also, we got x plus zero point four six four. Equals five point four four two. Then subtract zero point four six four. You will get your x one equals minus zero point four six four. You will get x two equals. That is three point five one nine.
and also four point nine seven eight. We are looking for the angle between zero to two pi, and、uh, since the period of this sine function is two pi, and、uh, your x one x two is、uh, between zero to two pi, so these two will be the solution. You don't have to go to general form to check the table in this situation. Let's go to B. Still, first step. You need to set up this、uh, form. We know that、uh, negative eight sine x. I need to change this、uh, into positive、uh, eight sine x. Therefore, I divide by negative one both sides. You will get the eight sine x minus cosine x equal to six. Then you need to check、uh, square root of a square plus b square. B here is negative one, so you get the a square plus negative one square. That's square root of sixty-five. Then I divide by square root of sixty-five for this equation. Then we need to set up this one. Equals、uh, cosine theta, and、uh, work theta out. That will be inverse cosine of eight、uh, over square root of sixty-five. Put into calculator, you will get equals zero point one two four. Now I need to change this one into That、uh, sine x plus or minus a theta form, so you will get the sine x minus because this part is minus here. So we do minus theta. You got zero point one two four equals this one. Bring down that is a six over square root of sixty five. Then we go to reference angle equals inverse sine of six over square root of sixty five. That equals zero point eight three nine. Then we go to diagram. Since this sine is a greater than zero. Therefore, we go to first and a second quadrant. First quadrant will be the reference angle. Second quadrant is pi minus zero point eight three nine. You got two point three zero two. Then check the angle. This angle equals to these two. So you will set up x minus zero point one two four equals zero point eight three nine, and also x minus zero point one two four equals two point three zero three. Then you add both sides zero point one twenty four. You will get your x one and x two. That's x one equals here. That is a zero point nine six three. For x two, you will get two point four two six. Since for your x one and x two is between zero to two pi, which means these two are the solutions. Let me talk about how to predict the number of solutions for sine and a cosine equation. First of all, get this domain and、uh, find the range. That means five minus、uh, negative five. You get the ten. Then from the given equation, find the period. That means two pi over one equals two pi. Then using this number ten divided by two pi, then multiply by two. 
this will be the number of uh, solution. That's equals to 3.18 something. So for solution will be three or four. We already figured out this equation. We got the four solutions. So for number four, how many solutions? We do the six minus zero equals six. Period. That's equals to two pi over three. Therefore, I do six over two pi over three. Then times two. This will be the number of solutions. We put into calculator, you will get 5.73, which means uh, either five or six solutions. When we worked on this uh, problem, we got uh, six solutions. So for say how many solutions you have, still six minus zero equals six. We get the range for this uh, domain. Then period equals two pi over two, that's pi. So we do six over pi times uh, two, that's the number. That equals uh, 3.8. means. Uh, we have uh, three or four solutions. We got the four solutions for this uh, equation. Let's go to A, how many solutions you have. We have uh, two pi minus zero, that's two pi. The period for this one, that's two pi over one, that's two pi. So I do the 2 pi over 2 pi times 2 equals to number of solutions. Then definitely we we'll got the 2. So there are two solutions uh, between 0 to 2 pi. When you're working on this problem, you need to check your x1 and x2, are they between 0 to 2 pi, because all together we have two solutions. Then if it's not between 0 to 2 pi, you need to add or subtract 2 pi, make sure it's between 0 to 2 pi. 